Hi everybody, it's me, Peggy Lynn from OShipCruiseTips.com and today I have a treat for you because you're coming with me on a virtual bar crawl. I'll take you to all 26 bar venues on Carnival Cruise Line and because I'm so awesome, I'm gonna give you the menus and prices as well. So enough chit chat, let's get into it. Welcome back, my cruising fam. First, just so you know, we're going to be going through these in alphabetical order just to make it easier. And also, this isn't just about alcohol. Even if you want a mocktail or zero proof drink, I've got you covered, so stay tuned. And first up is Alchemy Bar. This is a favorite among our seasoned carnival cruising crowd. With its high end and unique cocktails, definitely give it a try. My pick for this venue is The Perfect Storm, but if alcohol isn't your thing, just ask for those zero proof drinks. Next stop is the Atrium Bar. Now this bar is likely the very first one you encounter when you board the ship. And they could have different names, but they are obviously located in the Atrium area. They have a robust menu from tropical classics to beer and wine offerings. Pro tip, save some money on a bucket of beer if you didn't buy the drink package. And next stop is Bar Della Rosa. This is one of Carnival's newest places and is currently only on the Mardi Gras, but you can find drinks like Vino by the Glass or Bottle and they even offer coffee drinks if you need some java in your veins. And I'm happy to say my favorite wine is listed here, Lambrusco. And next stop is Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And this is the bar for you if you love being poolside. Located right on the Lido by the pool, if you wanna get your drink on while taking in some sun, head to Blue Iguana. Next up is Bonsai Sushi. Now this isn't just a great place to dine on yummy sushi, it's also a great place to find a specialty cocktail. I recommend the Bonsai Bellini. And now let's head to the Brass Magnolia Bar. This bar is another newer venue, only on the Mardi Gras. You'll find it on the French Quarter zone of the ship. From cocktails to wine and specialty beers, head over and try one if you're sailing the Mardi Gras soon. And stop number seven is the Casino Bar. If you're one of those people that love to play in the casino on the ship, definitely check out the Casino Bar if you're feeling thirsty. I suggest trying the craft beers. My personal favorite is the Thirsty Frog Caribbean Wheat, but feel free to sample anything you want. Next stop is Fahrenheit 555, or just known as the Steakhouse. Located on all carnival ships, this specialty restaurant known for yummy, high-end food fare may have different names, but one thing is for certain, enjoy some delicious wine with that steak. And pro tip, go on em embarkation day for free house wine or book for formal night because you get 50% off wine bottles. Yay! Okay, let's go to stop number nine, which is Fortune Teller Bar. Now, this is another newer bar that is only on the Mardi Gras, but it's got some really cool, unique cocktails. Now, I do recommend the Bog Juice, but with drinks like the Bohemian Treat, Venus Rising, and Air of Mystery, there's something for everybody. And let's move on to spot number 10, which is Guy's Pick an Acre Smokehouse and Brew House. Now, this specialty restaurant is sure to please with their barbecue, but they offer great drinks as well. Not sure what you like? I suggest the Hog Sampler if you're looking for some yummy brews. And pro tip, if you do like beer, try the brewery tour for about 30 bucks a person. And for number 11, Havana Bar. This bar is specifically for people booked in the specialty areas on the newer ships. So if you're hanging out in the Havana area, I recommend the Havana Espacial on the rocks though. Moving on to number 12, this is the Heroes Tribute Bar. Now this is a newer venue that is going to be popping up on more ships and it's an area that honors those who serve to keep our country safe, the military. This area is close to my heart because I grew up as a marine brat and I am now married to my lovely husband who's in the Navy. So head here for an awesome military inspired space and grab a drink in a cool souvenir glass that also helps a great cause. 
And let's move on to number 13, which is Java Blue Cafe. Now this is the coffee place on board Carnival Ships. Now, if the ship doesn't necessarily have Java Blue, it's just called a different name. And with plenty of spiked beverages and milkshakes and other things, you can energize your senses with a delicious adult cup of joe. And now let's trot along to number 14, which is everybody's favorite, the main dining room. Of course, everybody just thinks of the main dining room as a great place to get delicious food. And while that's correct, don't forget that you can also get delicious drink. So do yourself a favor and grab you one. And okay, let's go to number 15, which is the nightclub. This is for those that love to get your jam on in the club setting. Usually opening around 10, feel free to indulge on cocktails, shooters, and other delicious drinks. I recommend the fun disco ball souvenir cup with rum punch fever, so you can have a memento to remember your cruise clubbing nights. And let's go to our next spot, number 16, Ocean Plaza Bar. While this is only on select ships, they have awesome drinks like sangrias, wine, and other cocktails to choose from. And now let's slide on over to number 17, the Piano Bar 88. This is the bar for those that love to sing along with the best tunes. And while you're there, grooving to the music, be sure to get yourself some ice cold brews or even zero proof drinks like the entertainer. And let's move on to number 18, which is the Punchliner Comedy Club. Now, this is one of my favorite places on Carnival Cruise Ship because I love to laugh and they always have the best comedians. I also like to get there early to order myself a beverage like the very strong and aptly named Punchliner. <laughs> now, let's hop on over to number 19, the Red Frog Pub. This is an awesome favorite of mine. It's Caribbean themed and it's usually located on the lower level of many of the carnival ships. Now don't get it confused with the rum bar, we'll talk about that soon, but I like that they offer their craft beer flights. Super duper yummy. And pro tip, on embarkation day, they have half off happy hour specials, usually until 3 p.m., so go grab you a beer. And next is Red Frog Rum Bar. This is located in the Lido deck by the pool area on almost every carnival ship. It is quite different from the pub that we just talked about, but go get yourself a featured rum and tap into your inner pirate. Arr! And now let's come to number 21, which is the Red Frog Tiki Bar. Now this is the newest tiki bar that's on the Mardi Gras in the Celebration. And what it is, it's pretty much a hybrid of the Red Frog Rum Bar with a dash of the Red Frog Pub. And it's a cool two-story venue, so definitely try out the Tiki Cocktails or Red's Rums. Now let's get on over to number 22, Rudy Sea Grill. This is a higher-end seafood restaurant found on only the Mardi Gras and Celebration, but there's some pretty cool specialty cocktails that can only be found at this venue, such as the Polaris. Now let's move on over to number 23, which is the Serenity Bar. Do you crave more quiet, childless areas? Well, the Serenity area is the adult only 21 up area that's found on every carnival ship. It also offers its own drink menu, so you can try a plethora of different options. Now let's move on to number 24, the Skybox Sports Bar. This is only on select ships, but it's a great spot to watch a game and sample some delicious all-star margaritas or even draft beers. Okay, and now we're on to 25. This is the Tides Bar. Now this is a comfortable outdoor bar on the aft or back of each of the carnival ships. They offer things like tropical classics and they even offer a kid's fave section. So definitely give it a go. And before we get to our last spot, all I ask is that you like and subscribe if you got value from this video so that I know to do more like this content in the future. And with that, let's move on to number 26, the watering hole. Now, it's only on select ships, but hey, it offers a few specialty drink choices and get, they all sound delicious, especially the watermelon crush. 
so are you feeling thirsty yet? Well, I know I am. And just so you know, you've successfully made it through all 26 carnival bar venues to get your drink on. Did you happen to spot any drinks that you're adding to your carnival cruise bucket list? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, remember to please drink responsibly. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for watching and go ahead and hit up one of my other videos so you can learn some money saving tips, maybe some cruise cabin secrets or products that you need to bring. Until next time, bon voyage.